All right, so it's time to talk about arguably the coolest sounding function in Excel, which is hyperlink. Uh, turns out it's actually a pretty awesome function too. Uh, it creates a shortcut that links users to a document or location within a document. Um, and that doesn't just have to be within a worksheet or workbook. It could also be uh, a document that exists on a network server or via a web address and so on and so forth. So syntax wise, really, really simple function. Uh, you just input your link location, which is where people will go if they click. And then you have the option to add a friendly name, uh, which is how you want the link to read. So by default, the link will read exactly as the location, uh, but you can give it a label if you want it to, uh, if you want to customize it a bit. So three examples here. Uh, in one case, you can hyperlink to a web address or URL that drives to a certain document. Uh, you can hyperlink to a location on your machine. And then last but not least, uh, you can link to specific sheets or locations, even specific cells uh, within your workbooks. So a pro tip here that I find really, really helpful with hyperlink uh, is this very specific string, um, which allows you to jump to cell A1 of the sheet name specified in A2. That allows you to change the value or the text string in A2 and drive people to different locations in your worksheet dynamically, which is very cool. Um, the only catch is it's uh, a lot of single and double quotation marks that are very easy to screw up. So let's jump into Excel and see if we can get this thing right. Um, I'm on the pick a door tab, which is currently just a blank worksheet. And what I want to do here is basically just create a link that will drive the user to either door one, door two, or door three. So if I just type door one here, what I can do now in cell B5 is write a hyperlink function that creates a link that when the user clicks that link, they'll jump to the door one sheet because that's the name indicated in cell B3. So let's test that out and do equals hyperlink. And now this is where we need to pay incredibly close attention uh, to the keystrokes here because if you miss one little thing, it's not gonna work. So let's get nice and zoomed in. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna hyperlink to open quote, hashtag, single quote, double quote, and the ampersand. So we're gonna start with the uh, hashtag single quote, and then we're gonna merge that text with whatever text is in B3. And then another ampersand, open the quotes again, add another single quote, and then we're gonna do exclamation point A1. And you'll, you'll see that this is kind of following the way that Excel names sheets within workbooks. You've probably seen that sometimes you do a reference across sheets and it automatically adds uh, these hash marks and these exclamation points. Basically, we're replicating that with manual text strings. So I'm gonna close the string there. And then that's my link location. I know it looks like a total mess of gibberish, but trust me, it makes sense. And then the friendly name is just whatever text string you want this button to show. I'll put it in quotes. So I'm going to uh, I'm gonna call it pick a door. And then close off the parentheses, hit enter. So now it's inserted a link. You can see it's formatted as a link that just says pick a door. So if I click this, it's gonna go to cell A1 of door one. So when I do that, there we go. We're on the door one tab, which is um, a ridiculous cat face of Nicolas Cage. So let's jump back and I'm gonna add a little bit of uh, a dynamic element to this just to make it a little bit more fun. Um, what I'm gonna do, follow along here. So I'm gonna create a little array of data with a one, a two, and a three. Next to the one, I'm gonna type door one. Next to the two, I'm gonna type door two. And three, I'm gonna type door three. Now what I wanna do is uh, in cell A3, insert a random number generator. Rand between one and three. So that every time this worksheet calculates, remember I can go into formula, press calculate now that random number generator will generate either a one or a two or a three. 
Now what I want to do, instead of just typing door one as a concrete value here, let's just change it to a lookup that's tied to a random number generator. So we're going to look up whatever the generator spit out within this array we just created and grab the name in the second column. So now when I calculate, you'll see that not only does the number change, but the reference changes too. And then last but not least, I'm going to just do a little shortcut and white out this text so that we don't know what's coming. I'm going to press the uh, calculate now button a few times, get it nice and random, and then pick a door. Oh, so there we go, we're on door three now, which is uh, another hilarious Nick Cage faced kitten. Um, back to uh, pick a door, we can try that again, a couple more times, door one, couple more times, door one again. So you get the idea. It's uh, obviously this might not be the most um, uh, academic or relevant application of using hyperlink, but I've been recording these sessions for many weeks now and uh, I wanted to have a little bit of fun. So there you go, hyperlink function, really useful.